Welcome back to the seventh part in this series and in this one we're going to carry on with the content feed application and in the last one we got to a point where we were rendering a single element on the home page but it's it's really still kind of ugly so I want to go ahead and add some bootstrap to that and I'm going to show you a way that I quite like to do it using a package called React Strap and all that package basically is is it's bootstrap 4 for React so let's go ahead and install that, get that set up and then maybe even try to get some bootstrap on the page so first thing I want to do is I want to install Bootstrap. So I'm going to do Bootstrap 4. Uh, so it's Bootstrap app 4.0.0 dash beta, because it's not released yet at the time of filming, uh, beta.2. Uh, and I'm also going to do dash dash save so that if I do npm install in the future on a different computer, then I'll automatically pull those dependencies that we're installing. I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to npm install React Strap and I'm going to do React Strap at next and what next is it's basically an alias for what is already defined on npm so you can see those aliases by going to uh, npm view uh, and then in this case it's React Strap the package that we're inquiring about and then dist dash tags what that'll do is it'll show you what is available uh, sort of as opposed to specifying the actual version that you want, you can also use these words. Now that I've got that installed, the next thing that I want to do is I want to go back to the source code and I want to make another import here at the top and that's just going to put bootstrap on the page. So bootstrap forward slash dist forward slash CSS because we only care about the CSS at the moment and bootstrap dot CSS. So with that I'm going to go back to the browser and I remember to start the npm server, npm start and when that starts you could, you should be able to see I'll just go into this browser and refresh and now you can see there is some bootstrap on the page but it's still using that sort of uh, default thing that bootstrap comes with it's not using any custom uh, bootstrap components as of yet so the next thing that I want to do is use a uh, React Strap to be able to add some more bootstrap and in this case I'm actually going to use a card for each content item that we get back from the API response. I'm just going to hide the dev tools quickly and I'm going to go back to the code and the first thing that I want to do is in this uh, in this part of code here where we're eff effectively rendering the content item itself uh, and it would render more than one if there was more than one in the API response. I'm actually going to move this to a separate component. So instead what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say I'm going to render a, a component, a React component called content item and all I'm going to do is pass item down to it as what's called a prop and that way we'll have access to it in, inside the component itself item is here being uh, the thing that is iterated through in the API response so if the API response, if we go back here, is this list of elements then item is just that single element. Going back here, I'm just going to delete that for now and I'm actually going to make a, another component and this is going to be the one that we're rendering so it's called content item and like the other one it's going to extend react.component and it's going to have a render method and all that's going to do is, for now, it's just going to return something, let's say, uh, let's just do a h1 just to make sure that we have access to the uh, data inside of item. And all we want to do is do this dot props dot item dot whatever the item is that we want. So in this case, I just use a title for now. And just to check that still works, we go back here. And that should have been a forward slash, that's my bad. And now you can see we've got this as a title, so I haven't broken anything by doing that, which is nice. Uh, although I've not displayed the description. But that's okay, because we're going to replace this line now with uh, React Strap. So I'm going to create a row, and inside there I'm also going to create a column. On that column I'm also going to put extra small is equal to uh, 6 as an attribute, sort of like a HTML attribute if you want to think of it like that. Um, but inside this column I'm going to put the actual card itself, so it's going to be uh, just a standard Bootstrap 4 card which I use to display a single content item on the page. And so I'm just going to create a couple more things, I'm going to create a card, and I'm going to create a what's called a card block. And inside that as well I'm going to have card title, 
and that is just going to be this dot props dot item dot title and I'm also going to have a what's called a card text now this is all in the documentation by the way, if you, uh, if you want more detail on what, what these are called or how to find all the different ones, it's all going to be on the React Strap documentation. Um, but for now I'm just going to create some car text and I'm going to put the description in this one. And then we'll see how it looks. So item.description for this one. and now I'm going to go back to the browser and see if that works but of course we haven't actually imported any of these things so it doesn't know what any of them are so let's just go back over to the top of the file and I actually want to import every single one of these things so we've got row, column and I'm just going to sort of do the rest of these so you don't have to watch me do all this but I'm just going to import the list here that you can see on the left hand side in the arrow so I just imported those things, I'm going to go ahead and save it and go back to the browser and it's going to recompile and we've got a syntax error so it looks like we haven't actually finished the import and I want to say from reactstrap and now going back to the browser, oh we've spelled that wrong as well, so form from, there we go and now when that recompiles it's it sort of shows us a card which is exactly what we wanted so this is a kind of a bootstrap element um, what we could do is maybe we could add a custom class just to bump that top down a little bit because it's right at the top at the moment and I don't really really like the way that looks so if we want to add also some custom CSS what we could do is we could also say import and then the path to that CSS file let's say index.css and add I'm going to add a class to the row I think so just adding a class to the row, so in React of course in the JSX syntax that's not class but class name and then that's equal to, I'm just going to give it the name of the actual component so it's really nice and organized and I'm going to create a new file and in this I'm going to just say index.css just like we imported I'm going to have a class so that's just dot content item uh, and this is just plain CSS for now and I'm going to say margin top and that is equal to I don't know let's say 10 pixels so let's see how that looks so that's just bumped it down a little bit and I think that looks a little bit nicer um, and because that content item is repeated it's actually going to be um, putting sort of a 10, a 10 pixel spacing between each of the cards um, sort of going down in that column so that's it for this one in the next one we're going to try and get another content item in and see what it looks like with a bit more content and maybe add somewhere for an image to go in the future